Hi friends, welcome to SQL Starlet video tutorials. This video I am going to explain about options that is difference between skip and filler. So skip option will be using for skipping the rows. That is if you have a uh, 20 rows in your table, uh, sorry, your file. If you want to skip first two rows or three rows, we can use a skip option. And if you want to skip some of the columns from your file, for example, you have a hundred columns in your file. If you don't want to load all the columns from your file, you can use filler option. Filler option is using for skipping the columns. Skip option will be using for skipping the rows. And there is another option called rows. This rows is different, so don't get confused on rows, skip and filler because most of the developers will get confused on rows. And uh, I saw most of the interviews, uh, people will get confused and answer how to skip rows mean they will tell that rows option rows option is for commit frequency if you want to commit your data rows every five rows or every hundred rows we can use a rows option so don't get confused on rows option skip we have option for skipping the rows that is skipping data filler is option for skipping your columns data let's see the example i'm using a five skip five so it will skip first five column five rows in my table data i have here you can see one is a columns and 14 is records so five means columns and the first four records will be skipped so remaining 10 records will be loaded let's run this now you can see 10 records has been loaded and the commit point reached at five that is rows option we have mentioned here that is commit frequency commit frequency now you can verify the logs. So number to skip five rows we skip. You can see here five rows and the data loaded ten rows has been loaded. The skip rows five. So five rows means first one is a column, remaining four are data has been skipped. So this is the way we can use skip option. Same thing you can verify the table level data, only 10 records is available. Now you can see here. So if I don't want to load the data for manager or you can say from salary, okay, then we can use a filler option. We can use filler option. Ignoring or skipping some of the columns, we can use filler option. Let's run this. It's run, it's uh, finished, and the five rows skip. And uh, you can verify that this is older data. If we rerun now, you can see salary is not available. Salary is not updated because we skip this column. Then, same thing if you want to skip other column as well, some manager, you can use here directly. So, here options will be using here, and the filler is an option, but we are not using there, we are using directly on columns. That is the difference you can find here. Now, if I run, now you can see two columns should be skipped that is, manager and salary. So, this is the way we can go for using skip and filler option. And rows option is different, rows option will be using for commuting frequency. This will be used if you have a huge data. Why? Because if you don't have a, a huge temp table space. Okay, because uh, without commit, the data will be uh, stored in your temp files. So what you can do, you can release that space using commit. That is called commit frequency, commit interval. We can use rows option here. That is called rows option. Then parallel, if you want to run parallel, you can use this parallel option. But if you are using parallel, you can't use a truncate or replace because this is the delete options. And direct, if you are using direct also, we can't use parallel option. So this is the way we can use options here. For example, if you use a truncate, if you specify parallel true, so we are using conventional method, it is working. So if you are using, if you are using direct path loading, you can see here, see? Only append mode allowed when parallel load specified. Okay? Why? Because 
if you are using direct mode the data won't be loaded into your archive files so that is the difference and if you are using a truncate this is the delete operations you can't use parallel so same thing you can go for replace see here only append mode will be up used for parallel so if you use append mode now you can see so rows parameter is ignored why because we are using a parallel parallel processing the multiple uh, sessions so it's this parameter has been ignored that is the advantage of parallel actually okay so you can choose any one option if it is required for parallel you can use or you can go for a rows option so thank you for watching my videos please subscribe my channel to get more videos and updates my channel thank you very much